Now we head into Industry 4.0, and it's all about connecting, you know, everything. The, the machine to machine, uh, everything should be connected to tell us what's happening and things like that, right? And I used to love to read about this stuff when I was a kid in any sci-fi book. Today, at Toyota, we have the ambition to lead that industry. We have gathered data for about 80,000 manual forklifts for about eight years. So we have a lot of data. And this data gives us the ability and vision to create a sustainable and efficient change in the logistic solutions. So what we do is we have the manual ones and we also have automated trucks that kind of take care of everything themselves without a driver. So we automate the whole warehouse with these auto trucks. The customer range is everything between producing tires to cheese. Our future is obviously built on uh, intelligence. We think and we are doing a lot of cool parks right now where the machines or the devices or the units by having the right amount of data and the right amount of access to data can predict what needs to be moved when and where. In Gothenburg, the R&D center, we have uh, established something we call the software house. And we set a vision for four years. And we've been trying to, you know, come up with the with idea for how to do this change that we need to do from a software part. Our wanted state is obviously to be a trusted enabler by software, Toyota, quality, hardware. Now we want to achieve that on the software level as well. So when we started to look at, uh, you know, where, where should we have our main data, where should we maintain the data, how should we build the microservices that we want to build to, to get where we want to be, we started to evaluate different type of uh, storage solutions. And we had some criteria. Uh, performance obviously was one of the key drivers. Latency comes with that. Then we said that we want something that uh, can scale automatically. The maintenance of it should not be our problem. It should be a managed service. Of course, security and compliance, because we have so much data that, that comes in. Uh, and even if we anonymize all the data, we still have to obviously stick to GDPR and those laws that exist in Europe. How close is the data? Because we have some uh, policies that, on a very higher level at Toyota, that governs us as well. And in our case, we choose Azure as platform. So we want the data to be in Europe or European Union. Again, maintenance is not our thing. We want to develop products. So we want something that does the backup parts for us automatically. And one of the th key things that I you know, love to talk about is to be as agnostic as possible. We don't want to be locked into any diff you know, vendor, cloud vendor. So we said we want the data stored that, that we can move. And of course, it should be easy for our developers to understand and use the, the data store. And it was not a hard choice at all, because do, do I need to say anything? No. Have you met these people? They are always happy to help us. They always smile. They always give us the best support. It was really easy to plan for, uh, for the dev teams to attend the university. So they could plan them in their sprints. We didn't have to you know, guard them. They could do it when they, they could and when they had time. And the most beautiful part is that the data models are, uh, they are objects. So for the developers, it's easy, really easy for them to, to to work with objects rather than data models. And since we have this bounded context model where, where events are very important to us, it's kind of everything that happens in the system creates something. And we store all things that happen in the system in MongoDB. And we are very happy with that choice.